going to give it a try. Hey guys, Jacques here. So I'm ready to give a first test run to my new clock here. You can see the drum with the string, escape mount will be at the back against the wall. I'm not done with the front, there'll be, there'll be the face and the hands in the front here. So let's, let's give it a try. Okay, I'm going to start with this weight. It's about one and a half kilo, three pounds to do a first try. That's pretty good. I'm surprised. So let's see with pendulum. You see this this is going to hang up on the back of the clock. It's rubbing against the wall <laughs> to make that string a little bit shorter. I haven't tried it yet. It's a live start. Well it works. I'm going to have to do a little bit of tuning, but basically it works. I don't know, it might be a little bit too long. Not much. Let's see it closer. It stopped. Might need to clean clean out some of the gears. So with the drop I have it should be able to work over twenty four hours before the weight reaches the ground. See how it goes. Some of the features I will use a gear inside here to rewind, and there's a there's a ratchet inside here. It's really hard to see. Yeah. Try to do the side frames round all the way, but when I'm printed flat on the bed, this one failed. I mean it's good enough that I could try today. The back, that's where the pendule get hooked up. That way I can mount the clock to the wall without the pendulum and then put the pendulum on. Makes it easier for handling. That anchor, it's pretty much the same design as this clock but 1.6 times bigger and I redid it totally in FreeCAD just to see how it goes. I'll make a tutorial on the details of how you can design an escapement in FreeCAD coming soon. <laughs> Those studs they're flat on the sides so I can just print them flat on the bed. That little piece of thread missing doesn't change much of the resistance and then the nuts also printed and I expand the size of the nut until it could go well on, on the on the rod. Next thing I need to do for the hands, this gear comes in here on that gear by the ratchet and then that shaft will come out to the front up here and then there will be two more set of gears from here to the center for the for the hands. At the back, plan to do one more piece of frames that will come on those two studs up here and then a uh, rounded support so I can adjust the inclination of the clock against the wall. That will give me a little bit more distance from the wall. Pendulum is too close to the wall. <laughs> for first try it was pretty good. I'm quite happy with how this 
new clock is running so far. Now I can finish the face, the hands and figure out a better way to, fix, to hook it up to the wall. I kind of have an idea already but I still need to design it and print it and build it and, and all. But it's coming along great. Please like, subscribe and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.